Minnesota Vikings handle their backup quarterback situation the way they did. I'm Matthew Collar from Purple Insider. This video presented by Park Tavern. The Vikings talk today at TCO Performance Center. Kevin O'Connell and Kwesi Adafo Mensa, head coach and GM. And a main subject of their press conference was the backup quarterback situation. Kellen Mond and Sean Mannion both cut, both picked up by other teams, leaving Nick Mullins, who the Vikings traded for, as the only other quarterback outside of Kirk Cousins on the roster. It shouldn't be long before the Vikings find someone else to be their practice squad quarterback. But the remaining question left over is why they ran it back with the same combination of backup quarterbacks who did not work for them last year. Sean Mannion had to play in one game in Green Bay. That did not go particularly well. And it was clear from Mike Zimmer's reactions to Kellen Mond that they didn't feel like there was a whole lot of extra potential there with Mond to be quarterback number two. Do you think you want to get a look at Mond next week? Not particularly. Mike, why don't you want to get a look at him? I see him every day. Kevin O'Connell said that he believes Kellen Mond will have a long football journey. He's a fan of Kellen Mond, but did not think it would be fair to him at this point in his career to have him as quarterback number two, one play away essentially from having to handle all the duties of a starting quarterback. And fans naturally are saying we would have seen this coming. However, it seems like the Vikings brass wanted to get their own look at things. Sean Mannion had Previous success as the backup quarterback of the Los Angeles Rams. In relative terms, he won backup jobs in Los Angeles, won a backup job in Minnesota, even if his on-field performances weren't that strong. He was believed in by other coaching staffs. And Mond was a third-round pick who some draft analysts felt could have and should have been drafted even higher. So the Vikings felt there was potential there in Kellen Mond, and Sean Mannion should be able to have uh, handle the duties as a backup, but instead they decide to go with the more proven Nick Mullins as their backup quarterback, and we'll see who they decide to add next. Matthew Collar here, Purple Insider. We'll catch you next time.